What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon ADC, and in this video, it's going to be a two-part video with the first half covering the Magpul DACA utility organizer pouch, which you see on the table in front of us, and the second part talking about the items I selected for Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping's open challenge for February. It's basically one bag, one pouch, one wallet. Spoiler alert, this is the pouch I went with. But since this is a new pouch to the channel, I thought I'd go over this first a little bit more in depth and then talk about the other items I chose. So if you're only interested in that part, feel free to jump ahead. Or if you're only interested in this part, obviously stick around. But this is a, I think, somewhat new pouch from Magpul. It kind of slipped under my radar. I follow Magpul, never saw this pop up, and I'm always kind of scouring the internet for new pouches from different brands that maybe I've never checked out pouches from before. And so this is a newer one. I think they have another version that's going to be coming soon. They have it already listed on the site, but I don't think they have a release date. So I signed up for email notifications for when that one drops. But you can pick this up for $30 on their website. I think it's on Amazon as well for a little bit more, and the shipping is longer. This shipped in, I think, two-day shipping. So really great. There's four colors available. This is the flat dark earth, but you can also get it in black, orange, or red. And really interesting material on this. It's basically, I don't know exactly what it is. They call, describe it as a polymer infused textile, which is waterproof, semi-rigid. Basically it feels like rubber. It's definitely gonna be waterproof. It's water doesn't seep into it at all. It just kind of beads off. And you can hear it's a little bit more of a vinyl-y kind of sound to it. It's got YKK AquaGuard zippers, and so it's really going to be super weather resistant. And it is pretty rigid. It has some bend to it, but it it also is fairly firm. It keeps its shape. And you can see on this side, they have this tab where you can attach a carabiner, which I have the hero clip on, and then this dot system, which I don't know exactly how to use it. I guess you just mark it with dots so you can identify if you have a bunch of these lined up. You can put one dot on one, two on another, and I'm sure there's a more efficient system than that, but to identify what's inside the pouch. So besides being different colors, maybe you have a row of flat earth, a row of orange, and a row of red, and you can identify exactly which is in which if you know how you label them on that dot system on the spine. But I don't really intend to use that. This is the only one I have right now. I may pick up more. I do like it, and I may pick up other colors more specifically and more so than trying to create a more diverse system where these are lined up in some sort of trade or something like that. But the dimensions on this are about four and a half inches tall by seven and a half inches wide and 1.75 inches thick. And I have this fairly loaded up. It's not really expanding or stretching at all. And so I would imagine it will kind of flex if you load it up really thick, but with the items I have, there's really no flex in it whatsoever. And so with those YKK zipper pulls, they basically have some paracord that's got this heat shrink wrap on it. And so nice kind of extended zipper pull, but you can always cut that off and replace it with a bead and paracord if you prefer or whatever you prefer there. Full clamshell style opening. And what I really liked about this pouch is it's pretty versatile that I can use it for EDC or I can use it for basically like a tech case where I put adapters and wires and stuff in here and put pens and papers and really not have any ADC gear in it here at all. Right now I have it a little bit mixed, but mostly as a toolkit, but I'll go over kind of what's on each side, starting with the left. On the left, we have three elastic loops here that are about one inch tall and one and a quarter inch wide. And I have a few different items in there, starting with the Open Mini. This is the OD green version. Small bolt action pen, really cool. These are around 10 to 12 bucks, depending on if you get them on sale or not. I think sometimes you'll get like a bundle. For example, I bought one of the knives the other day and the add-on for the pen was a dollar. So you can get them for even cheaper than that. And really great little pens. They sell the refills on their site, which are also pretty cheap. Up next, I have the Rovivon Aurora A1. This is just kind of color matched to the knife and pen in this case. Next to the CRK T CEO, this is a Blade HQ exclusive and really cool little knife and really like the colorways, which is what makes it the exclusive, but thin knife, more like a secondary. I'm gonna have a knife in my pocket. I'm never just gonna be carrying the one in the pouch. And so sometimes it will have a knife in there, sometimes it won't. And then I believe this is the Victorinox Super Tinker. And I like this one. I'm not gonna open every tool in here, but because it does have the pliers on it, which is pretty unique for 
the Victorinox uh, Swiss Army Knives. And the skills on this one are a DLT exclusive. I believe that's still in stock if you want it, or at least some variations of it. I don't know if exactly the Super Tinker is, but... Behind that, there are two pockets that are about 3.75 inches wide and are around four in inches tall. I think one's closer to four and a half inches tall, but I have a log and jotter notebook. These are three and a half by five and a half, so that can fit in either the front or back pocket. I think this was October 2020s. Really simple design, but really, really cool colors. And behind that, I have a Beltran Hanks. This is the Sigeha or Sigiha with the sharks in it. Really, really cool pattern on this one. I think I had seen on his Instagram at the time there, this was one of four. I think he may have made more since then, but pretty cool that it was pretty limited. I mentioned the hero clip on the back. You can attach any sort of carabiner on there. That's all the pockets here. So a lot of what you typically see in a normal EDC pouch on the left side. And then the right side has this long zipper pocket, which is 3.75 inches tall and 6.75 inches wide. So all of these pockets, none of them span the full width because of the way it's sewn, it cuts into the width of the exterior of the case. So the interior pockets are all gonna be a little bit smaller than what the exterior measurements are. But 3.75 inches tall by 6.75 inches wide. And this one I envision for depending on what I'm using it for. Right now I have some extra tools in there, but if I'm using this as more of a tech case, having the USB adapters and HDMI adapters and stuff like that for my laptop, because it is an Apple, it doesn't use any of the standard plugs, which is always annoying, so you have to carry a bunch of different adapters with you. So I have a USB flash drive in there. This is a 16 gigabyte Lexar. Only a real kind of tech item in there. Then I put, I wanted to have some sort of pry bar. This is the Norton's cleaner something stick from County Calm, basically just for light prying and scraping. Just wanted to have a pry bar that wasn't too aggressive in there. Next to that, I have the Bit Bar 2 from Big Eye Designs. Done a video on that one pretty recently if you want to check it out. A Zippo, this is just a matte black kind of standard Zippo and a pair of Knipex pliers. These are the smallest one, maybe, I wanna say four inch. Four inch, it might be, yeah, it looks like about four inches. So that's everything I have in the pouch. I definitely could have loaded it a little bit more and the stuff wasn't even really beating up against each other or anything like that. I just loaded it with a realistic loadout. I didn't really feel like stuffing it full of gear just to see how much could fit in there. But as you can see, it's a relatively decent sized pouch, definitely not anything that you're gonna carry in your pocket or on your belt, anything like that. This is gonna go in a sling bag. That's the intended purpose for me. And so I wanted to carry a larger pouch since for the challenge, I'm limited to one pouch for the entire month. It's one pouch, one wallet, and one sling bag. And so I wanted to carry something that I can mix either EDC gear or tech gear in and so this kind of fit the bill for that and it's new to me so I really wanted to test it out. I'm curious to see it's already started I've only carried it for a day and it started to get like these little marks on the inside and outside and they don't seem to wipe off super easily but I'm gonna try just leaving it and seeing how marked up it gets and then also just wiping it down with a wet cloth and seeing if it comes off because I know like with the alpaca x-pack it just wipes right off this one it seems to be there a little bit more but I doubt it's too too bad but that is the pouch again it's called the Magpul DACA utility organizer pouch I will put a link to it in the description I wouldn't recommend buying it on Amazon right now if it drops down to a better price, go for it. But right now it's cheaper to get it on Magpul. I believe it was free shipping and it was two day. So for the wallet, I mentioned this when I did the wallet review or overview. I'm gonna go with the Alpaca Arc wallet. And this one's just a little bit bigger, still front pocket, but has a spot for cash in there. Can hold a few cards. I have a RFID blocker in there. And so this one seems like a kind of easy choice, it's versatile, it's a little bit bigger than the up card holder V2, and so it gives you a little bit more versatility. You can throw it in my bag or my pocket, relatively easy, has plenty of space. And then for the sling, I went with the Vertex Tourist Sling, and I have mine in multi-cam black, barely fits into the frame here. 
multi-cam black. I don't think they sell this colorway anymore, but you can definitely still get this sling bag. I've had this one for a year or two. You can see it's kind of covered in dog hair. Got a little marks up here, but looks relatively new still, has held up really well, and I've carried this bag quite a bit. The reason I went with this one is it's the smallest sling bag I have that can carry both my laptop and my iPad. And so I don't carry both really ever at the same time, but right now I have both in there. But it's nice that I have the option to carry my laptop if I'm going to a work meeting, going to meet with a client, want my laptop, or if it's for personal, I'll switch it out for my iPad. Don't really kind of cross streams there. It also has this Velcro loop panel that's relatively small. So right now I just have some nameplates there, the Knife Nerd and the Uncommon EDC. But for a, like a work meeting, for example, I'm gonna pull these off and leave it blank. But if I'm going to something like CCKS, which happens to be this month, I'll throw these on there and you can kind of display whatever patches you want or something like Patches and Pins Expo, which I don't think is in my area this month, but will be next month. You can put your favorite patches on there. A lot of versatility, but you can also just remove them if you want it to be a little bit more discreet. Still multi-cam black, but really no one's ever mentioned anything about that for me. And I use this as a work bag for quite a few different meetings. I've carried it a ton, and so no one's ever said anything. The other thing I really like about this one is, and I was deciding between this and a nutsack, and the reason I chose this one is that it just has a lot more internal organization and it's a little bit smaller, but internal organization was a big thing because it gives me a little bit vers more versatility if I'm gonna use the pouch as a tech kit. I can put EDC gear in here, throw some pens, knives, multi-tools, whatever I want into this section, or throw the cords and whatnot into this front zipper section and still have room in my pouch for other regular EDC gear. And so it has a really nice front organization pocket. I don't have anything else really in here right now besides my iPad and laptop just to show that they both fit in here. So I have the iPad in the front pocket, fits in that back pocket as well. You can see some nice organization in here as well. You have this kind of soft line section for a tablet as well as just kind of a free open area for your pouch or whatever else you want and you can throw that in there and then this back section is an interesting section i don't think it's really meant for a laptop it has this quick pull access tab so that you can get into there quickly and it's meant for concealed carry and so there's a holster that's sold separately i think it's their origami holster i have one it's not in there right now but it is sold separately the entire interior of this is velcro so you can slap it wherever you want it's a 13, 13 inch MacBook Pro. And in here there's these sections so you can put kind of a, it doubles as a plate carrier if you wanna put armor plates in there, which I have no need for, but they do sell them. I, there's a company they work with that sells custom ones for their bags. And so a lot of their bags do carry them, but obviously I'm not gonna put that in this tiny little sling bag. But I thought this was gonna be the most versatile while still being able to carry the items that I want and being small when I don't wanna take something huge out there. So that's everything I'm carrying for Rich's True Budget, Rich from True Budget EDC and Prepping's February challenge. If you're interested in participating, it's an open challenge. You don't need to be tagged in it. Feel free to check out his video for the criteria and upload your own. But thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the Magpul DECA organizer utility pouch, as well as just my carry for the month of February. The items inside the pouch are gonna change. That was one of the really nice things about this challenge that is a little bit different from the last challenge I participated in where the items inside the pouch had to be the same as well and stick under a certain budget. It's gonna be a lot easier to be able to kind of cycle through different gear and use exactly what you want. And really only limitation is that you're using the bags and pouches that you chose in the beginning of the month. But thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.